before taking you through my presentation, I, I invite you to pay attention to the usual legal disclaimer because I will do probably some forward-looking statement presenting, uh, introducing to our unique company. Why unique? Well, I think we are a unique company, so we are only, let's say, listed in France, uh, but our future is we, we are going to expand very much our presence here in the United States. We are one of the few R&D of Tommy company with a presence from research to the market. We have a very innovative pipeline of new compounds with new mechanisms of action in research. We have three compounds which are either in phase two or entering very soon in phase two. Plus we have two products on the market and one of this with our uh, worldwide partner Bush & Lomb, Weizulta, which is, has been generated by our, our research, our owner uh, proprietary research uh, technology. So, as you can see from this slide, we have a pipeline which is divided in two parts. We have a part which is uh, based on our anodonating research platform focused in glaucoma, which has generated uh, the Vizulta approved by uh, Bosch and Lomb in the United States in, uh, on November 3rd, 2nd last, uh, last year and launched on the market just uh, before the end of the year. So we are very excited by, by the launch of Bosch and Lomb. Plus we have a broad unencumbered pipeline in glaucoma. I will take you through rapidly. And plus we have uh, three products which are repurposed drugs of uh, molecule never used so far in ophthalmology. So NICOC started uh, in ophthalmology in the FAR 2004, based on the recognized role of nitric oxide uh, in uh, regulating IOP, because as you well know, low level of nitric oxide has been found in a patient affected by glaucoma. And uh, we have developed uh, since then, uh, I would say three, but probably are more generation of anodonating compound. The first generation where Vizulta is the lead compound of the first generation of anodonating compound and CX470, which is the lead compound of the second generation. Plus we have a series of new compounds and I will, I will show you something later on in a minute. So the lead compound of the first and second generation of our anodonating prostaglandin analog are Vizulta and 470. And Vizulta has been the first product approved by FDA with a dual mechanism of action targeting a primary and secondary outflow. So we are, as we said, we are very excited by our collaboration with Bosch and Lomb. And uh, well, as well, we are very excited by the economic uh, condition we have that uh, will, will uh, uh, feed uh, our company for further expansion of our pipeline. We have uh, still uh, based mainly, mainly on, uh, on uh, uh, sales milestone up to 150 million net, 165, 50 million still of what we have to pay to fight the, the next milestone paid by Bush Long when they will reach uh, in early revenues of uh, 100 million dollar. We have royalty net to NICOC starting from uh, 6%, which go, could go up up to 12% uh, above uh, 500 million dollar sales of global sales. And uh, we have a patent that NICOX thinks that could be extended up to the end of 2030. So very excited about Bizulta, but as I said, Bizulta has been the first compound of the, of the first generation. We are thrilled by the development of NCX470 because uh, in an uh, animal model, uh, both in, uh, in model non-responsive to prostaglandin analog and in non-human primate model, this compound showed to be uh, more efficacious than bimatoprost up to 3.5 millimeter of mercury. So for this compound, we're planning uh, an IND submission in the third quarter of this year and to start right away the phase two that hopefully will be completed uh, 12 months later. So uh, NCX470 is of course uh, fully owned by NICOC, so we are expecting a great future for this molecule. And, but as I said, uh, we have a long uh, list of uh, potential lead compounds still in research. We have a, a, a research center based in Milan in Italy where the company has been created. Um, we have a, a, a family of N standalone donor where the first prototype compound is NCX667, which has shown in animal model to a lower IOP. But as well, we are developing, and so far they are still undisclosed, uh, some new family, some new compounds, which combine the anodonating uh, release uh, 
of our uh, research platform together with a new mechanism of action. So uh, we hope next year, if not this year, maybe next year, to be able to disclose this new family and to disclose new data. Anyway, on N667, which is a prototype of the family of the NO standalone donor, we have new data coming out presenting uh, at ARVO in Hawaii in a couple of weeks as well on, on its mechanism of action, showing clearly how nitric oxide plays an important role on uh, regulating the AOP through an activity on the trabecular mesh flow. Uh, as I said, we got uh, a second approval last year, uh, which is Zerviate which is a repurposed drug. Actually, it's a formulation for the first uh, ever formulation developed uh, for ocular application of cetirizine, which is active ingredient of the well-known uh, systemic antihistaminic uh, Zyrtec. Uh, Zerviate has been approved by FDA last May and has been licensed in September to a new specialty pharma of the company, uh, Ivans, which is planning to launch the drug in the fall allergy season this year. So that will be another a future stream of uh, royalty in milestone from this compound. And at the same time, uh, always in the, in the field of the repurposed drug, we have 4251, which is a very smart, innovative formulation of a, a nanocrystal suspension of fluticasone uh, propionate that we are developing uh, with uh, an applicator that will apply the suspension on the lower eyelid margin to treat the exacerbation of blepharitis. And uh, this to try to avoid exposure as much as we can of the steroid to, to the eye. So for this compound, we are planning to submit an IND and start a dose finding study in the first quarter of next year. So as I said, we are a French company, also I'm Italian. The company is established, in a, sorry, is uh, headquartered uh, in south of France, in the would-be San Diego of uh, France, like the French say, in uh, between Nice and Cannes, so it's a lovely area, and the research center in Milano. But as you can see, and as you probably follow the company, we are opening uh, a new uh, development headquarter of the company in the Research Triangle Park, where our chief scientific officer, Mike Bergamini, and uh, uh, Thomas Navratil, who joined uh, recently the company as the head of development, will manage the research and the development both in Europe and in US. So 2018 will be another breakout year, very exciting for a small company like Nicox, but as you can see, we are strengthening our presence in US, not only with, with our growing team, uh, but as well with the phase two that should start uh, uh, within the next, uh, let's say, six to nine months. And, uh, and of course, we, we look forward to meet you next year with other exciting uh, achievements by our company. Thank you very much.